What's going on YouTube? So um, in this video today I'm just going to show you how you can work out some areas using AutoCAD and um, for this example I'll just show you how to work out the area of these roads here. So with this area you can work out how much stones needed or how much tarmac is needed and um, I'll show you how we can do that in AutoCAD. So the first thing to do is just open up our, our site drawing when we tidied up in a previous video. And um, we'll get okay, so here we are. Here's our tied up site plan. So, um, first example, I'm just going to assume that um, that this is the last phase of uh, of the job, and that all the other roads have already been tarmacked. So, um, it's up to you how you want to do it. But um, there's two ways to calculate area really, and you can find area by just going up to utilities this measure this measure of this drop down menu area so you can just click on that and you can just measure an area so say we wanted to know you can just click click and click and if you want to know the area of that just click enter when you're done it tells you the area there and the perimeter so if you want to know the area of of say this circle you can just type in object which is O Select the circle, and that's the area of it there, and the circumference. But if you just, I can type in area, just area, enter. But the problem of just doing it and clicking is, um, is you lose it once it's done. So you don't know what it is again. So what I like to do is draw a polyline. And if you draw a polyline, say that shape there, you can work out area of this as well. So you just type in area, object, and you can click on that to the area and that, that shape saved because it's a pole line. So I'll just quickly do that for these road areas. So I'll do that now. So first I'll make a new layer. New layer, I'll just call this one area one. Make that that color, make it current. And uh, I'll just go around and draw a polyline around the area I want. I'll start here. And it's important to check what kind of snaps you've got on just to make it easier for you. So endpoint, midpoint, that's fine. Intersection, don't really need extension. Perpendicular, tangent might be handy. And uh, that should do. So you just go clicking around. The smaller you do it, the more accurate it'll be, but it's, it's up to you. So I'll just go around this and I'll um, and I'll slow it down once I'm about to finish it. Okay, so on this particular site, um, there's a ramp here, so it changed. So there's a change in road construction from this side to this side. This side's block paved, so I'll just do two different areas: one for this side, one for that side. Okay, so I'm just about to finish off and let's say you're uh, working with it and you make a mistake So you click over here by accident or you click over there just to undo what you've done just type in you For undo and it'll undo it or you can just click undo down here So um, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake And also if you make a mistake and don't notice about it But you get too far You can undo it Afterwards, and if you just want to close it, so say instead of going down this point and trying to snap, you can just type in C for close and hit enter and it'll close it. So, to fix this mistake here, you can just click on it and drag it into where it needs to be. So, that's one area. Um, it might be nicer to make this polyline a bit thicker. So, to do that, you just type in ped it, select the polyline, which is that one, type in W for width. I'm just going to make it 0 0.5, no 0 0.1 right. and that's made it stand out a bit better and uh, 
if I want to know the area of this, just type in area, O for object, and just select it. And it tells you down here the area and the perimeter. It's handy to know perimeter, but um, so if I want to work out how many curves this will take, you can do that. But the only thing you'll need to deduct is this here, which you can deduct by just working out the distance, which should be 5.5. .5. So deduct 5.5 .5 and deduct deduct 17.955. So if you deduct them two, that'll tell you the perimeter of um, of a length of curves needed for this bit. So I'll just do this one here. So I'm just going to call it area two, new layer, area two, make it a different color, make it magenta. Okay, do the same again, polyline, start here, same point. And I'll just whisk through this. Okay, so I've just closed that area. Um, I'll just change the layer over. So I'll go properties. I want this to be area two. Area two. Just pet it to make the width a bit bigger. Width is 0 0.1. Okay, so that's it done. And if you wanted to make it look a bit a bit more tidier, if you just wanted to highlight the areas a little bit more, you could always hatch it. So I'll just click hatch over here. Select where I want it to hatch. Make it a solid color. So we want to make that magenta too. Make it fairly transparent. That's okay. And so I want to hatch this area too. Just click hatch. Select the polyline. Change the color to cyan. By layer. Transparent. Yep. Okay. So now we know the areas of these. Just type in area. Object. And you can just click in there. To the area four seven six area this one object three oh one and if you want another area even both you can just type in area again T click A for add area object and it should highlight it once you click it say you want another area of this road it's highlighted it which is four seven six you want another area of this road which is three oh one add them together it is seven 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 so that's how you do it. And if you wanted to send this off, or if you wanted to annotate this, you could always just go up to annotate, multi-line text, or you could just do um, call out like this. And then area equal, what was the area? So if you prefer area was, Four seven six point two two zero. Four seven six point two two zero meters squared. That's a bit big text height. Five. Okay, change the color properties. Let's do that area two. And I could just do the same again. I can just copy that over. I can just uh, do another call out. So a multi leader call out. Look in here like this. Area equal, I think this was free free something. Recent input area object 301536. Area 301.536 meters cubed, squared, sorry. Just 
change the height of this to uh, 1.5. And um, that's how you can annotate it too. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, in my next video, I'll show you how you can measure area in a PDF. But that's it for this one. Thanks. Please like, comment, and subscribe.